everyone. I will come here to this presentation, which is a uh, orthographic projection. So we use orthographic projection to use three-dimensional objects in two dimension. So you'd be given an object which is in 3D or isometric, and then when you are viewing it in 2D, which is orthographic projection. For example, you would have this 3D object, the three-dimensional figure. But you can view the plan, the, the plan view as that, which is just a 2D object. You would view this front view as that. And you can see the side view. If you have to view it from this side, you just see it like that. Okay. So we shall discuss certain things which we are calling elevations. So under elevations, we have what we call the front view or the front elevation front elevation is simply you be given so for this one if they say the front view is this one they are saying you are viewing it from this point so you have the top view which is also called the plan view if you are viewing it from above and you have another elevation which we are calling the side view obviously it has two sides or three it has this side there is that side and the back side so they would indicate which side they want you to view that object from okay and then we shall be using what we call projections so specifically for this video we shall concentrate on the first angle projection as well as the third angle projection these are the common ones okay so first angle projection so under first angle projection we shall abide by the certain rules the first one when you are given a 3d object which is this object it's a three-dimensional object you have that view which is the front elevation you'd be given that as your plan elevation or pe and that being your end elevation so if you are given that the rules are you center the front view so this view which is the front you center it like that okay and then what you see on the right draw it on the left of the front view so those are the rules to the first angle so if you are viewing this as your front view what you're going to see on your right which is this as your end elevation when you are drawing you draw it to your left so if this is our front view our end view is being seen on the right on drawing we we'll draw it on the left okay what you see on the left draw it on the right so if we are given this side as the end view when drawing you're supposed to be on the right of your front view but since here we only have the right view elevation it's the one we're having on your left side and then what you see from the top which is the plan elevation so the view on the top there in first angle projection you draw it down of the front elevation so if you view something on top there you draw it below the front elevation so it will appear like that so these are the rules will be using under first angle projection we have an example so the figure below shows an isometric projection with elevations indicated draw the p e f e and e e in first angle projection okay so those are the elevation we've got the end elevation front elevation and the plan elevation or the top view the front view and the end of the side view okay so that's the question where you have your f e p e and e e they want us to draw this one so let's begin on the next slide so solution that was the question with those elevations so in first angle projection first step is draw the three boxes following the layout of the first angle projection so for first angle projection we know that when you have the front view your end view if it's on the right it's supposed to be on the left the top view is supposed to appear down so the plan is as follows so these boxes should take the dimensions of the views for front elevation obviously you'd have those dimensions so you take that length that should be that length the length of this one from there to there should be the length from there to there same for the plan view 
Okay, so they should take those dimensions, even the end elevation, those dimensions supposed to be equal to these dimensions. Okay. Step number two says draw the front plan and end elevation. So if you are to see or if you are to view this 3D object from that front elevation, what can you see? So the box for the front elevation here, you draw what you can see there. So obviously you see something like that. Okay. And then if you are to view it from the end elevation, which is this side, obviously you just see that box there. So this is the one you draw there. Then if you are to view it from the plan, if you are to view this thing on top there, what you would see, something like that. Okay, and we'll go to step number three. If you say, draw the projection lines from the front elevation. So from this front elevation, you project lines. So these are just vertical and horizontal lines going to these views, the plan and the end elevation. So you start throwing those lines. So, you throw that one going that side, that's the other horizontal, and the other one. Those are the only horizontal lines you have in that front elevation. You should go all the way there. And then you have the vertical lines as well. You throw this one down. Any line which is vertical, you throw it down so that it meets the plan. So, you throw those lines. Okay, of course you are seeing these two lines. These are just coming from this circle. So this circle supposed to throw the lines going to that one but if anything the ones we've thrown are those those this one and this one but because there's this object it's also supposed to 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 throw the the lines there so these are the two you are seeing there from there we go to step number four which is saying draw a 45 degree angle from the front elevation so from this front elevation we put a 45 degree line like that okay that one we should have an angle of 45 degrees like that okay once that is done we go to step number five you're saying project lines from the plan elevation and end elevation to meet in the 45 so from this plan and the end elevation we start projecting lines so obviously from this one you project the horizontal lines which are supposed to go there to meet this line. For this elevation, you you throw the vertical lines. So you do that. Okay. So from this one, obviously we've just thrown these two, but from this one, we have the horizontals. We have this one, this one, and these which are coming from the circle like that. But they should go to that one as well. So. We have that. And then once this is done, you go to step number six, which is saying represent hidden features by dotted lines. So if you look at these objects, in as much as you can see this object from that, which is front elevation, there are some things which are there, but you can't see them. So anything which is there, but you can't view it, will represent it by dotted lines. For example, this hole. This is a hole which goes all the way up to down. When you view from the front elevation, you won't see that hole. But since there is a hole in there, supposed to be represented by dotted lines, these are the lines you are seeing here. This blue, two, this one and this one. These are representing the hole. It's there, but you can't see it. So for things which are hidden, you represent them by dotted lines. Same applies when you view it from the end elevation, which is this one. There are details inside which you can't see, but they've been projected with these projection lines. So anything which you can't see, but it's been projected, you represent it by dotted lines. So... We have that okay you have those dotted lines okay so for this one which is the front elevation this is how it will look like something like this but there's a hole there which you can't see it's been represented by those dotted lines when you come to the end elevation you'll see this quite all right but there is a hole in there which you can't see. It's been represented by those dotted lines. And these things, because this thing is ending there. It goes all the way. There is a line which goes there. Even here it goes there. But you can't see it when you see you view from here. 
so since it's there and you can't view it that's why you're seeing these dotted lines representing that okay then when you come to the plan view quite right yes you see this box like that with a hole on top but these guys they've got lines there and there you can't see them on the plan view so they've been represented by these are the two dotted lines you are seeing like that so this is how we carry out an isometric projection this was the first angle the second example we'll do the same question but in third angle projection